Gotta make sure you do your pre-trip every morning, y'all. Walk around, check your uh, check your tires. Make sure your shit ain't leaking. Make sure you get your fuel ain't leaking. Make sure your exhaust ain't leaking no shit. Make sure everything look how it's supposed to look in the morning before you're ready to go. Because guess what? The day you think everything's cool and you just jump off in your truck, that's when some shit going to be wrong. I remember when I first got my, uh, my truck two years ago, my other truck. I didn't do, I never used to do pre-trips. And I'll be honest with you, I hear, I hear people talk about it, but I, I really didn't, not until I went to CDL school, I really truly understood the importance of a, a pre-trip. So ever since then, I don't play around, man. Take a couple minutes, but taking a couple minutes might save you money or save your life. So I think I, I think I'll take them a couple minutes every day. Check your oil, make sure your oil is good. Good to go, oil looking good. Everything looking good, tires is all good. No leaks, everything good. So we about to get on the road, y'all. You too, good morning, happy Monday. About to go make a delivery right now. The two pallets I picked up on Friday. I got another delivery after that. Everything local today. I got I got one delivery from Friday, and then I got two uh, two picks and two drops. One drop in the day, one drop tomorrow morning. And after I pick up that last one, it's ten pallets, so I ain't gonna have enough room for nothing else, unless it's like a pallet or two. But we got a, we got a full day today, and we just gonna try to keep it going, man. Did my pre trip. We on the road, about to go drop some gas off in here. Uh, you know how it go, man. When I get to the first one, I'm going to get some clips for y'all. Hope everybody had a good weekend, safe weekend. And we're going to keep the videos coming. We're going to keep grinding, man. Y'all have a good day. Have a good week, man. Primo the truck driver. Be cool. All right, y'all. Just got up got no here. About to go inside here and see what she was going on. Got to go inside this building real quick. Pretty sure I got to go upstairs. Hate coming to places that's that's like business and no dock and all that shit, but part of the job man I can't pick and choose my battles well I can but the money straight so I ain't tripping I just it just makes it more work when you got to do it like this but it is what it is in the elevator now sweet 200 well back in the elevator as you can see thank god I found some damn body up there a lady up there as usual it's the wrong building Address is not right. I'm not surprised at all. This shit come with it, man. All the, I'm telling you, man, them brokers don't give a damn about nothing. As long as they get that load booked and they know they got money coming in, they could care less at the fucking what you got to go through out on the road. I actually got to take that back because they all ain't bad. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't have some good brokers, but man, a lot of these people, man, these motherfuckers don't care, man. They just worried about their bottom line, that's it. Which is cool, but at the same time, we working together. Cause you, you ain't gonna get paid if this shit don't get delivered, you know what I'm saying? 
But I, you know the game they play. The brokers will fuck up and make it look like the driver did something wrong. But what the hell could I do wrong? I'm going off the information that I have get, that was given to me. This lady back walking behind us. I'm backing up truck. She must be ready to go out today. Yo, yo. Uh, not that bad. The pallets is light, but I got it. They don't have no dock, no no type of receiving area, which is a little strange. But it is what it is. I just got to offload these shits by hand. Obviously, I'm going to use my lift gate and shit, but I got to offload them by hand and then uh, wheel them up here one by one. That's the only fucked up part. I was hoping it was going to be quicker than this, but my next pickup is literally the next city over. I'm in Boca, I got and I got a pickup in Pompano, so... I mean, I'm all, uh, 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 it's like 15, 20 minutes away, but it's literally the next city over. So, we're going to get this shit done. Uh, let's go, y'all. You know, you, you always got to put in a little bit of work. I ain't tripping. Put my cones down so people don't, you know, people act like they blind, but. Ain't no way in hell you're going to miss these cones in this, uh... Can't miss these cones or that, uh... And I'm going to put three cones out. One in front, one on the side. And one in the back. Motherfucker hit this shit, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just need to turn in your driver's license. I never forget. Last year, I was at one stop. I was down in Miami Lakes. Man, when I tell you, buddy, hit that cone and not ran over two of my cones, bro, and just kept going. I'm like, damn, shit, real. These people, man, I don't know what these bro. I mean, I'm a little mad because I got other shit I had to do, but I don't know what these brokers got going on, man. So I just, I got to my my, 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 my delivery in Boca. Mind you, I picked this shit up Friday. I get to the spot, I get upstairs. Now they're telling me don't take it off the truck, it don't go here. But these people, they called me early in the morning. They called me three times this morning to make sure I'm going to be here when I'm supposed to be here. I said, yes. And it don't even belong here. So I'm sitting here like, y'all bothering me blowing up my phone. And you don't even got your shit together on your end. So this shit got to go 35 miles south. 40 miles south, actually. It's like 42 miles. I'm like, God damn, man. So, you know where that go. I delivered it to the address on the Raycon. So, I'm getting that fee. And now they got to pay me to drop this shit down to Miami. So, it is what it is. But I ain't I ain't doing no favors. Fuck that. That shit got me pissed off. Because like I said, now it pushed me late on my next delivery. Or my next pickup. I got to go to the shipper now. So, I'm, I'm hoping that I got enough room in here. Shit crazy, man. And, uh, I think but I had to tap in and let y'all know, man. These people, man, I don't know, boy. They're going to be the death of me, boy. Because this shit crazy, man. I don't understand, man. We're supposed to be working together, man. You help me, I help you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck these people are doing. But I'm going to the shipper now to pick up my, uh, my next, uh, my next load, I'll be there in about 15 minutes. So when I get up here and get off in there, you know, I'm going to tap back in, which I, I got to let y'all know the good and the bad.
But you know what it is, man. It's all part of the game. It's all part of the job. You can't, you guys, you can't take one without the other. So I'm going to get with y'all in a minute, man. Be cool. All right, that's quick. About to go grab my door. Back up and load up these pallets real quick. I'm going to chop my wheels. I'm gonna get some tips when I get inside. Yo, yo, I'm down here in Medley now. I had to, uh, I actually had to, uh, I went to my other stop that I had. Remember, I had two deliveries today. I'm telling you, man, Monday, boy, is not my day today. The fucking, uh, the broker made a mistake. He told me it was, it was like 11 pallets. It was 10 or 11 pallets. And when I got there, it's 24 pallets. So clearly I can't take 24 damn pallets, so. YouTube, YouTube. I didn't get the video at the last one. I was uh, on the phone with the broker for a little while until I got down here. We was on the phone for at least 35 minutes. So what happened was when I got to the stop when I was at, the one in Pompano, they, the, I guess the, uh, the customer and the broker, something must have got confused. And it actually was uh, 24 pallets. Obviously 24 pallets is not going nowhere nowhere on this truck so you know they had to figure that out and then you know it wasn't right it was a, it was an error on their part so they looked out for me they still paid me uh 150 just for showing up on time and you know doing everything what i i was supposed to do so that you know it is what it is i'll take that and just add that and like i said it was only 15 minutes away from my last stop so it wasn't that bad and I just left, I got a couple of clips, not too much, it was real quick delivery. But I got a couple of clips of the uh, the delivery that I had from the pickup for Friday. I told y'all about that one earlier, but I'll do a recap at the end. And that shit there was crazy though, so. I got another load now, I got to pick up, but it's not supposed to pick up for another like hour and a half. So I'm just trying to find somewhere where I can pull over real quick and try to get on the load board or see what's going on. Maybe I'll go get something to eat or something, I don't know. but. I'm gonna keep up, keep y'all updated, let you know what's going on and what the move is. Y'all be cool. I just, I just got out here to the uh to my last pickup. I'm early though. 
like an hour and a half early, but you know, like I say, I'm gonna just see if I can grab this shit. If I can grab it now, more power to me. And if I can't, then you know, it is what it is. I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. If anything, I just park up, get on the lower board, or go try to find something to eat. But we're gonna see what we got. Yeah, y'all, well, today, today was a weird day. As y'all can see, I'm not in the truck right now. It was a weird-ass day today, man. So my delivery, like I was telling you, the first one, it ended up not being in bulk. I had to go 40 miles south to Miami. So that got worked out. I got another Raycon for that. Then my second delivery, the second load I booked, the broker had two different loads at two different locations. So I booked two loads with the same broker, right? So I go to the second to, to the second one and they need and it was 24 pallets. They had that wrong. So I say, all right, well, it's what it is, what it is, shit happened. So I say, fuck it. I go to my 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 other uh pickup to the other shipper now. Same broker, remember I got two loads from the same broker. So I'm going to my to the other load to the other shipper for the uh for the same broker. I get down there, it's supposed to be six pallets of water. I get there, the shipment hasn't come in yet. But like I like I was saying earlier, I was a little early. You know, I was like an hour and a half early, but I was just in the area, so I was like, shit, it ain't gonna hurt to go stop by and see. They said the shit not even coming in today. So Really and truly, it was a weird ass day, but I got, I got, they gave me another 150 for that one. And like I said, it was 10 minutes away from my drop that I had to do from earlier this morning. So really and truly, it wasn't no, it wasn't like I wasted gas or anything like that. It was just weird as hell. But so I ended up just getting 150 for that one, 150 for the other one that was, uh, that had the 24 pallets. So I got 300 for both of those. And then I got my other Raycon for uh, for this other load. I got seven fifty for that one. So I mean, I still got a thousand dollar day, and I and I only did one load per se. So you, <laughs> and I only went forty miles. So from my first location, it was it was in all it was 40, 43 miles away. So it was not that far. And then from that one to the other one, it was twelve minutes away. So I I, I take the ten fifty. I'll take the 1050. But that's it, man. I got some I got some loads booked already. Well, I got a load booked already tomorrow's local. I'm working on two. I'm waiting on the broker to respond back. But I'll be back at it again tomorrow, man. I just had to tap in with my people and let them know the bullshit your boy went through today. Still a positive day. Still a positive day. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It come with the territory, but at least they took care of me. You know, they ain't have to give me shit. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all be cool, man.